How I Came to Like the Woman in the Picture. Part 5. The End of an Age. All over the course of the years 2007 and 2008, I would have dreams, oftentimes very vivid ones, whose message seemed to be that tough times lie ahead. Considering how I did not at the time watch television, and although I did have internet, did not go on conspiratorial or current event or international news sites, these dreams were then very much out of the blue. The basic message of these dreams was that things will eventually get so bad that I should want to leave the United States. These dreams spoke in particular of a ma coming uh, major war. Now, not a few of these dreams were like riddles. In one dream, for example, which, coincidentally, I had dreamt the morning after watching the big battle scene in the movie Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, I saw it displayed in turn upon the sun, the moon, and in pattern also in the stars, a series of black dots, kind of like Braille. This pattern was then duplicated, I guess by someone here on Earth, into a vinyl record. This record was then played on a record player. And as it spun, I could hear that the pattern was in fact a message. And the message was, the time that is to come is here. This message was whispered by a woman's voice in my dream, and she repeated it six times. Now, the fact that this message in my dream should be repeated so many times had, at the time, seemed to me even more profound than it should be written, as it were, in the moon and in the stars. Years afterward, I would notice in my Bible that God, in the Old Testament, did oftentimes repeat messages, apparently for emphasis. This, for example, from Jeremiah 22:29, Or this, from the story of Joseph, in Genesis 41. In the spring of 2012, I would come across another Bible verse, which read strikingly familiar to that message in my dream. It was Ezekiel chapter 7. Note here not only the message, but how many times this message is repeated. It starts off, for example, in verse 2. Next verse, verse 3. Verse 5. Verse 6. Verse 7. Verses 10 and 11. And lastly, verse 12. Now, another dream which I had had in 2007 was about Egypt, more to the point, about democracy in Egypt, and by way of Saudi Arabia, the word Greek, and the sword of war which had a red ruby in it. Another dream around this same time was the message, there will be a wave of orange. Another dream around the same time I had was about a missile with the word glasnost on the side, and with purple liquid bursting out of it upon impact. Another dream I had around this time was a picture of any number of rich and famous people all huddling together in some kind of camp-like setting, with bunk beds and everything. At length I realized that this was some kind of shelter in a far-off place, and that these people, the fortunate ones as it were, were here for safety's sake. Now, I will not otherwise be sharing in regards to these many dreams I had, as I would prefer to stick to the task at hand, which is, how I came to like the woman in the picture. What I will, however, say is this, that such had been the impression made by these dreams, that soon afterward I would go online and investigate into where maybe I could escape to should things in the United States get to um, life or death out of hand. <laughs> I researched, for example, into the visa requirements for countries like South Africa, islands in the Caribbean, countries in Europe, in the end, however, I came to the grand conclusion that there's no place quite like home. Also, the Lord had not since spoken to me in regards anywhere specific. I actually found this kind of strange. 
why would the Lord leave me hanging, i.e. tell me to hit the road, and then not let me know where I'm off to? Now, although this end-of-the-world great war leading had indeed, at, had indeed at the time seemed strong and sure and oft repeated and also seemed to pass every single one of the, except for circumstantial, tests for spiritual leading, I hope reminded myself that at the end of the day these were just dreams and that if eventually God did see it fit I should sail off somewhere, the Holy Spirit would at that time make both the destination and the way clear 